This is code.org, CS Discoveries, or Computer Science Discoveries. We're working on Unit 2, which is their web development unit. This obviously is Lesson 7, Intellectual Property and Images. And I'm on Level 8, which is Attribution. All right, let's see here. Adding images to your site. You've already created some pages with great content on your website. Now you can add some images. Maybe I didn't read that right. Now you can add some images. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we're pretty excited about this, I think. Do this. Using either your own images or those you found through a common search, add some images to your pages you've already created. You already created. Get creative. Use a checklist. Use the checklist to the right to keep track of the steps you need to do when following when adding images. Oh my goodness. All right, properly license, upload, create an image tag. I'm glad they have that list. There's a lot of steps. All right, coding is cool. I enjoy writing. Oh, this is my site. That would make sense. I started coding when I was in high school. I never really stopped. You know what would be fun? I'm going to look for a picture of a cool computer there. So I've built a few computers. Let's look for a... Um, I'm just going to type in awesome computer. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to click on, oh, no, I don't need that, images, okay? And like we've seen earlier, I'm going to go ahead and click on tools because we want to make sure we can use this. Usage rights, labeled for reuse. Oh, that limits them a bit, huh? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Decisions, decisions. Whoa, look at that. All right, I'll just grab this processor actually because um, it looks cool and it will work for what I need. So I'm gonna click on that and then I am going to right click. And if you're on a, um, a Chromebook or a laptop, right click is clicking down with two fingers separated out at the same time. And then I'm gonna say save image as, and I'm just gonna say, uh, you can name it, I'm gonna name it something shorter. So uh, CPU is what I'm going to call this, which is Central Processing Unit, and I'm going to click Save. Great, I got one image. Now I need some coding images. So let's see what computer code brings up. And notice it kept this here, but if it didn't, you would click on Tools, Labeled for Reuse. Okay, um, I'm actually going to look for smaller images on this one. I want to make sure they fit well on the site. And, ooh, this looks like HTML even. That's kind of cool. Maybe though, let's see. I'm having too much fun with this. Um, that looks like it might be jQuery. All right, all right, we'll just go with this one. Um, and it's a medium size, so this looks a bit stretched out, but that is fine. I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, I need to visit, great. Um, and now I'm going to right click this guy, save image as, and then I'm just going to name it code, save. Okay, let's clear that. I'm going to leave this open because we got to give it a source. And I'm actually going to hit back because guess what I forgot to do? Get the source of the other one. Labeled for reuse, great. And what did I use here? This. Okay, visit. So I'm going to leave that open now too. And then what else could I do? Favorite languages, what did I have on my list page? Languages I know best. Hmm. Visual Basic, Py ooh, ooh. PHP, C++. Um, nah, let's just look for, I, I don't even know, honestly. Computer Science. Perfect, let's see what we got here. Oh, that could be neat. Yeah, let's do that one, great. I like this one. And so I'm going to hit visit. All right. I think three images should be sufficient. Um, so I'm going to now right click this one and hit save image. And then I'm just going to name it, uh, I don't know, screens, just to make it easier when I add it to my site. All right. Going to close out. We don't need it. And now let's go ahead and I'm going to upload our files. So remember to upload an image, you click Add image, upload file, and I need these two. 
So that one first, and then I want to upload another, that one. And finally, I have a third image here, the screens. Screen successfully uploaded. Looks like they're all there. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Notice they pop up over here. CPU, screens, and code. And if you notice, they're right here next to our HTML files because these are all the files to the page. These are image files, and these are text or HTML files, but they're all files within our website. Anyways, so um, I want, let's say I want the code one um, right at, let's have it at the bottom of this. So in between coding is cool and above favorite languages is where I want it. So let me find, there's where I wrote favorite languages. And um, the tag for code, if you've forgotten, you can click on helps and tips, HTML tags, and look, there's a bunch listed here. That's from earlier on, headings and paragraphs, images. Up oh, there it is. IMG SRC equals right so great that's a good resource so it was img src equals and then i'm going to use the code so i'm going to put a quote c o d and remember it has to be exactly what is written over here if i capitalize the c in code over here it wouldn't work so i'm just going to click what automatically popped up because i know they spelled it all right and capitals are right and all of that Make sure you write SRC for source and not SCR. That's something I often do. And make sure you put the equal sign and the quotes. Now for an alt tag for the text that will show in case it doesn't load, um, I'm gonna write alt equals in quotes. Um, I, I, computer code, sure. And then slash and perfect. Oop, that's kind of big, but it looks good to me we're going to learn how to resize images at a later time so i'm going to hit refresh and save just to make sure it pops if yours didn't pop up now remember for the attribution ensure it's properly licensed create an image tag with the descriptive attribute okay so if you remember from the last one in the last lesson we did and i'm going to close this so i don't forget notice how it goes pink here pink means there's an error above it and there is there's an open paragraph tag and now it goes back to normal. So if you remember from the last one, we first put the title of the image. So let's look for this coding one. Here's the coding one. Is there a title? It looks like this is the title. So digital computer coding. I'm just gonna use that as our title, okay? because it looks like this might be part of an article, but that would make sense as a title too for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as the coding, as the title, digital computer coding. I'm gonna copy that and right click, paste. And then who is it by? Uh, is there an author? Must be around here somewhere, category. That's the camera that it was taken on. Creative Commons license. So for this one, I actually am not seeing an author. Yep. So I guess we'll just put um, from maxpixel.net. Okay. And then the license, well, it was CC, Creative Commons. All right, that is good to go. So now on our list page, I'm gonna add our other images. Um, first, we have our screens. I'm definitely gonna put screens at the bottom of this list. You know what, I lied. No, 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 at the bottom, I didn't lie, so. Again, IMG SRC equals, and then in quotes, let's our screens one called. It's over here. I'm going to start typing it. Make sure it's exactly perfect. Space, our alt tag to explain it. Whoop, equals in quotes, computer screens. Sure. And then slash to close it since it's a self-closing tag. 
and pada. Okay, and then just like we did earlier, we need to cite everything. I'm going to go ahead and close this paragraph tag right away so I don't forget. Um, and there it is. Okay, this one is, does it have a name? You know, I'm not seeing a name, but I am seeing the person who created it. Oh, maybe that's part of the name. Monitor Binary System. All right, we'll do that. And then his name is Geralt. All right. So paragraph. You might not be able to find all of the information. Oh, yeah. Look up here. It might be even up there like I'm finding. But if you can't, just do without. Fill in what you can. Monitor binary information by Gerald. Was it Gerald? Nope. It ended a T. Okay, and then from, and this is, ah, up, oh, it's pixbay, from pixbay.com, okay, and then the license is, it's a CC, it's a Creative Common license, CC, okay, and I already ended my paragraph tag, so that should all be great. All right, and then our final image I had is a CPU. Now, where would that be? Actually, I'm just going to put it right below this one. So, img src again for source equals, and then I'm going to start writing cpu, which is what I named the file, and then alt for our alt, ah, um, and central, uh, nah, let's just put, CPU, that explains it. It's the central processing unit. Slash, there we are. And then I need a paragraph tag and a closing paragraph tag where I cite it. Ah, alrighty. So let's find the info. Does it have a name? It is not this one. Not this one. Oh, where did it go? I know we opened it. I lost it. There we are. Visit. Oh, it's on Pixbay as well. Okay. And then where though? Ah, that's it. Okay. Phew. That could have been a problem. And it looks like processor CPU. Okay. So that's the name. I'm going to start writing that out. Processor CPU computer by. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and click on this so I can just copy his name. Copy. Back. And paste. It's from, well, pixbay.com, period. And then license, let's just double check. And it is Creative Commons, CC. Okay, let's hit refresh and save and check that out. Oh, uh, yep. All right. So we ensured that your image is licensed. Yep. Uploaded an image to the web lab. Yep. Created an image tab with descriptive alt. Yep. If the image isn't your own, add attribution underneath. Shrink this down. I think we did do all of that. And again, we'll learn how to resize images a bit later on. Let's see, though. There's our two pages. Huh. This is looking pretty good so far. Um, and it looks like excellent. We are all done with lesson seven now. And we have a website with pictures, a multi-page website with pictures. Woohoo!